Austin versus Goldberg. Now, when now here, here's my issue with picking Austin and Goldberg. When could this have happened? Vince well, McMahon. Vince could have made this happen at any time, right? That's true. That's true. If he like, bought out Goldberg's, yeah, yeah. It could have true. been WrestleMania 17 if he really wanted it to be. Of the, they were going Austin. Maybe Rock that might not have been enough time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 18. You already had your path about where you were going there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 18, Austin, 18. Austin and Goldberg at WrestleMania 18, they would have one. drawn – so much money for that match. Austin that, and Goldberg and Hogan and Rock. Are you kidding me? It, it, it would have. <laughs> you might as well okay. throw Undertaker and Sting on. There. Okay, no, no, no. This is a great. This is a great point. What you just brought up. No, right? but it, WrestleMania no, no, no. eighteen no, but, but, was but, like but that. They had so many stars. What about Kane, eight, Kane against fucking Diesel, bro? Fake okay. Kane, no, fake this is Diesel, fake no. Diesel. You're 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 on you're on the right track of where I'm going with this. Yeah. If you do WrestleMania 18 as WWE versus WCW, which we all thought it would be, remember? That was the rumor. And you have Hogan Goldberg and Rock Hogan on the same show, it sets the buy rate record. Like, very easily, it sets the buy rate record. I would think so. If it's right after the end of WCW, yes. And so if you set yes. the buy rate record, yes. Whatever you have to buy out from Goldberg's contract. You paid for it, like, and then you just have Goldberg for free. Well, remember the, the big controversy was that he didn't want to do that because then there were other guys in the roster who felt they should be getting paid that much. It sure. was all about jealousy in the locker room. We can't so, raise it, the pay; okay. it would break the pay rate or whatever. Okay. What it is, and this is historic because I'm reading about this in 1989. <laughs> they were cheap. He, so okay, let me let me. I I I mentioned this on uh, Observe This with uh, Mean Draven. In 1989, Vince sends a, or calls Ted Turner, and he's like, hey, uh, you know, let's not raid each other. And he didn't, he didn't do that because he was afraid that the NWA or Crockett or, I guess at that point, Turner was going to take any of his top guys. The reason why he did that is because if there was a back and forth of talent, it would have just ultimately raised the pay rate of the guys. Cause if you, if you're going to take someone from WWF, you're going to have to pay them a little bit more. And then WWF is going to have to take someone they're going to have to pay. Which so it just is exactly them. what happened a few years later. Right. So that's what Vince is worried about. Vince is, you know, Vince, this is the old Dana white line. This oh is the, this is the God, old Dana white bro. line stepping over dimes or stepping over dollars to pick up dimes, right? Vince is so worried about his his pay scale, and he's not thinking big picture enough, which is part of the reason why, after the Attitude Era, pro wrestling just falls off, is because of that thinking. He doesn't want the uh, he doesn't want the wrestler to be in power or have the most leverage. He wants to always have the most leverage. So in the end, it helps for his pocketbooks. But pro wrestling suffers because of it. And I don't think he gets enough demerits for that because it realistically no, it get talked about a lot. It, he, he kind of tanks the wrestling industry because of his unwillingness to pay these guys what they were worth because Austin and Goldberg and Rock and Hogan, like you just said, that that, that could set the trajectory into another small you know, hot period if, if they have booked it right, because that the booking already was out the window in the middle of 201 yes. anyway. So yes, it, it, with that booking team, catch probably fire. not. Yeah. With that team, no, but if they had somebody who was more open-minded then yes.